Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now developers have been crying out for ARM-based PCs for the longest of times, particularly for dev kits that will allow them to try out their apps on Windows for Snapdragon. Well, the good news is they are here. This is the Snapdragon dev kit for Windows that allows you to try out, test and profile your native apps for Windows on Snapdragon. Well, if you want to find out more, please let me explain. I'd like to thank Qualcomm for sponsoring this video. Now, traditionally, Windows has been most popular on the x86 platform. However, it's not the only platform you can use for Windows. Today, we're looking at Windows on Snapdragon, which means you're looking at not x86, but in fact, the 64-bit ARM instruction set for the CPU side and for the GPU side, the Adreno GPU that comes from Qualcomm itself, along with all the other bits that you need, Wi-Fi and Ethernet and Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff to get yourself a fully functional PC. Now these dev kits run Windows 10 and Windows 11, and Windows 10 and Windows 11 officially support Windows on Snapdragon. Now Windows on Snapdragon is made up of two major components. On the first part, of course, is Windows itself actually compiled for the Snapdragon processors using the ARM 64-bit instruction set architecture. That means the kernel, the drivers, all the subsystems, the desktop is all actually working natively on the Snapdragon processor. And that means as an app developer, you want your app also to run natively on a 64-bit Snapdragon processor. Now, Microsoft released a couple of years ago the tools that you need to, to recompile your existing apps and make them native on Windows 10 and Windows 11 for Snapdragon. And that transition is going along at quite a good pace. A lot of the big projects, for example, Firefox browser, for example, of course, Microsoft's own Edge browser, are already available in a native 64-bit ARM version. And even little projects like Putty, the secure shell terminal program that many, many people use uh, every single day, there's an ARM version of that available as well. And then some of the really big names like, for example, Adobe, they are working on bringing Photoshop and other parts of their suite over to ARM64. And in fact, there's already beta versions of those available for Windows on Snapdragon. So the whole transition is well underway. But to increase the speed of that transition, what we need is a developer kit that allows developers to test and profile and check their apps and make sure they run as expected on a Windows on Snapdragon platform. And the second part is x86 emulation. So any apps that haven't been natively compiled for uh, Windows on Snapdragon can still run. Now, 32-bit support has been there for a long time. 64-bit emulation is part of Windows 11, and Windows 11 also supports ARM 64 EC, the EC standing for emulation compatible. And what that means is that a Snapdragon binary can still use libraries and dependencies that are in the x86-64 ecosystem. And that allows developers to move more incrementally from the older system over to a native Snapdragon binary. But of course, to get the best speed and the best performance and the best battery efficiency out of your app, you need to compile it natively for Windows on Snapdragon. And that's where these dev kits come in. So let's have a quick look at the specifications. So these dev kits run Windows 10. They're also upgradable to Windows 11. And they use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7C compute platform, which is a version of the Snapdragon processor, not for mobile smartphones, but for laptops, Chromebooks, and things like this dev kit. Inside, you'll find the Cryo 468 CPU. That's two Cortex-A76 based uh, CPUs running at 2.4 gigahertz, and then six Cortex-A55 based CPUs. And then next to that, you've got the Adreno 618 GPU. That is Qualcomm's uh, Adreno GPU. And of course, you get all the drivers and the support that you need to get that running under Windows. Next to that, you also get four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, Wi-Fi 5, 2 times 2 MIMO, Bluetooth 5. You also get a th USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, a USB 2.0 port, HDMI, LAN, micro SD, and the whole thing is powered by a 30 watt USB power delivery uh, type C socket. And you do get the power supply in the box when you buy the kit. Now, the great thing about this development kit is there are no hidden surprises. Literally, you plug it all in, you turn it on, and up comes Windows 10, exactly as you'd expect on any other machine running Windows 10. Of course, now we're running Windows 10 
on Snapdragon, and it can be, as I said, upgraded to Windows 11. Now, in terms of software, there's loads of software available natively. Of course, Windows itself, as we already discussed, things like Visual Studio Code is available for Windows on Snapdragon. As I mentioned, Firefox, Putty, Adobe are working on their stuff. All of the compiler stuff, even LLVM, is available now for Windows on Snapdragon. You've got things, like, of course, like you know Python, and you've got all the other stuff that you could possibly need, .NET 5, and all the libraries that you need are there natively running over on Windows on Snapdragon. Now, the thing I absolutely love about Windows 10 on Snapdragon is that you can run the Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows 10 and on Windows 11 natively on a Snapdragon processor. So no emulation involved. You can bring up a Linux distribution inside of your Windows and you actually get full 64-bit ARM uh, compiled binaries in there and that works absolutely fine. I've tested it and it's absolutely brilliant. Now, the use cases for this PC are certainly developer orientated. So what does that mean? You probably have a main workstation that you are using to write your Windows applications. And out of that development process will come also a natively compiled a Windows for Snapdragon binary. This can then be used on the development kit for testing, profiling, checking that it works as expected. If you need to do something like debugging it, it is possible to install Visual Studio on the dev kit. However, a better approach recommended by Microsoft is to do remote debugging and Microsoft have got a bunch of documentation on how you do that. So if you do get into that situation where you need to debug on the uh, dev kit, you can do that remotely. Other developer-based use cases, for example, things like using Python on Windows for Snapdragon. You can use Visual Studio Code, which is natively compiled, and then you can run Python on that. Or if you're a web developer, so we're talking JavaScript, HTML, CSS, that kind of thing. Again, you can use things like Visual Studio Code and then test that using Edge, Firefox, all which have native builds for Windows on Snapdragon. Now, can you use the dev kit as a desktop replacement or as a productivity PC? Absolutely, you can. However, there are some limitations to do with the amount of RAM and the amount of storage because the real use case where it becomes ultra valuable is for that developer who wants to test and develop native apps on Windows for Snapdragon. Now, the processor in the dev kit isn't the fastest processor available from Qualcomm. They have greater generations available in other products. So performance here, bleeding edge performance, isn't the main aim. However, I couldn't resist doing a bit of benchmarking. And I can say this, a lot of people will be making comparisons to some of the single board computers like the Raspberry Pi. This thing is at least twice as fast as a Raspberry Pi, which means it handles running Windows 10 and Windows 11 without any problem whatsoever. Now, the good news is over the last year or so, the prices of Windows on Snapdragon devices has been coming down. And for example, if you look at devices like the Samsung Galaxy Book Go, that is a Windows on Snapdragon device, consumer focus under $400. Now, this Qualcomm developer kit is the cheapest Windows on Snapdragon device currently available, and it will retail for $219. It's also worth pointing out that if you do buy the developer kit, it's yours to keep. It's not something you have to give back after six months or so, something that other brands have been known to do. So in summary, what we have here is Qualcomm's developer kit for Windows on Snapdragon. It will allow you to test, check, and profile your native 64-bit ARM apps for Windows on Snapdragon. And the pricing should open the door for developers all over to actually seriously start migrating their apps from the existing Windows platforms over to Windows on Snapdragon. You also get, of course, the good GPU in there. You've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet, all that other great stuff, which means you have a fully functioning environment that allows you to get the job as a developer done and get it done quickly. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this look at the Snapdragon developer kit for Windows. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains. I also have a newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, you'll get the newsletter, but you won't get any spam. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.